The following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. and thank you for joining with us on Business Best. This is a platform to showcase the best in the business. This is our second program and we'll be airing again in two weeks with people who have excelled in their particular field in order to showcase latest developments in their respective industry. Having said that, let's provide some context to today's program. With our busy, busy lives at uh, hand and many of us are giving limited or more like no priority to self-care. Today, self-care has become a buzzword and when something becomes trendy or seems to show up everywhere, we tend to write it off. It becomes a kind of a background noise. Maybe you think self-care is a hollow synonym, pampering yourself and that doesn't ring true to you. Maybe you think self-care is an indulgence, something for people with plenty of time and money, a luxury that doesn't fit into your life. The way you care for yourself and the time you allow to recoup and rest is just as important as the time you dedicate to creating your dream life. When you take time for you, you're creating space you need to live a well, full life. We have today with us an individual who thought that producing a brand new product that will nurture a crown we would never take off. It is my pleasure to introduce you to Sachini Ayendra, Sri Lankan actress and the founder of Estara, which is, on, which is an online platform for beauty products. Sachini, thank you for joining with us on Business Best. So without further ado, all of us, we know that you are in the film industry yeah. and the business industry is something completely yes. different from that. So what made you shift from film to business? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me. I'm so excited to be here and talk about my brand. Uh, how I switched to business is I have actually had a liking to do business from a very early age. Even though I didn't really do anything about it, I've always had interest on it. I used to read about business. I used to see what's going on in the world. I used to read a lot about uh, businessmen, like successful people like that in the uh, chosen field. So as I went along, I um, came across something this, uh, sorry, last year when we were in lockdown. Um, I was uh, thinking uh, about how, like, okay, how it happened was I had a problem with losing hair a couple of years ago. and. Uh, I was really depressed because it's something, uh, a part of my identity was having long hair. All my life I've had long hair and I've never cut it short. I could never live with cutting short and then I started losing my hair and I was getting really sad and depressed and I started trying out every remedy that's available in the market, not just in the Sri Lankan market everywhere in the world. Whenever I travel, because I used to travel a lot, everywhere I go, every country I go, I used to try out their products like vitamins, minerals, whatever you name it, oils. And I used to keep trying out, trying out things. And uh, then I came across this formula, one formula, which worked perfectly for me. Because I'm a person who doesn't like oils. I hate the fact when oils are on my head. I, I just don't, I never use it. Even back in the day when I was in school, I never use oils. <laughs> so this was a formula that had oils but was not oily. So I loved it and then I started using it and then my hair started growing very fast and people were like, what are you doing to your hair? Like, are you eating something special? Like, my friends used to put their hand in my hair and pull it thinking it's an extension. And then I started thinking like, okay, this I'm doing something here. Um, so it went on like that for a couple of years. So I had my friends and uh, who would call me up and say, what's the product you're using? Like tell them, I would explain like the thing I'm using and it was obviously overseas and people couldn't get it. And 
it went on like that for a couple of years and then during the lockdown last year I couldn't get hold of these products or treatments and I was without anything and then at the same time a lot of people were facing this fact about uh, not getting uh, imported products or not having anything to do while at home when they had nothing uh, available. Then this idea came across me that why don't I create this in Sri Lanka and give it to people here because I whenever I go out I get like so many people asking me like what do you put on your hair, what do you put on your face, tell us like they really follow what, what we use as public figures. And that's how I started creating this product. So I had to use uh, ingredients that are available here. And then I also had to get uh, some ingredients uh, imported. And then I um, got um, associated with a lab here, a manufacturer. And I was, from the beginning of last year, I, I was uh, in the process of creating this product and uh, then uh, manufacturing it and testing it and I tested it on myself for months and months and that's how uh, the product came into life. So you told me you used to be using international products before this. Yes. Would you say that it's kind of similar to the one you were using or this is completely different to that? It's actually very similar to the one I was using originally, mm -hmm. but the ingredients have changed and improved. So right. we had to get license to use the recipe from the original product that I was using. Okay. But we have, uh, we have made it to fit the local, uh, uh, the, uh, the weather, the atmosphere, and the kind of hair we have here in Sri Lankan people. So we have uh, actually customized it to uh, fit to our requirement. And of course, uh, one ingredient we have in my product is coconut oil. So coconut oil is something that we all use yes. even when we are eating or skin problem, hair problem. That's, that's a product that we use. So I've in included coconut oil. So things like that. So what is uh, found in Sri Lanka I have uh, incorporated and also essential uh, ingredients that are not available here but are really good for hair. We have imported the best ingredients and uh, created that product. So when talking about your hair products, do you think uh, that side of the cosmetic industry is more profitable than the skincare products? Actually, now that I've um, got into this business and I see an overwhelming response and I never realized that people suffer so much with hair problems, men and women both. It, it, it was something that really took me by surprise because I thought, okay, I'm the only one who been having hair problems and of course I know um, women generally have. But how psychologically it has affected a person, I never realized. Mm -hmm. uh, so one thing I tell everyone is everyone does all the treatments to your face, mm -hmm. you know. We only look at our face. We use the best creams on our face and we neglect our hair. We should not do that. Like, we should not wait till the hair completely falls off to run and look for a remedy. We have to do that. Uh, we have to start it like, let's say, um, I started my first cleanser when I was 18 years old. So I cleanser to a moisturizer. That's the basic skin um, care process. Uh, so that is the age any girl would start using a skin care um, start taking care of their skin. Mm -hmm. I think that is the age you have to start taking care of your hair also. Because hair as we grow older, it starts getting thinner, it starts falling out and never growing back. For men and women both. Women actually blessed than most men. <laughs> we still have hair um, to, into our late years. But we have to definitely take care of it and no one really pays attention. And um, mo most cosmetic companies only focus on the skin. 
True. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Sachini. Uh, we are in a very interesting topic with Sachini Ayendra, and we'll take a short commercial break, and we'll be back soon. You're watching Business Best. Welcome back. This is Business Best and we are in the middle of a discussion with Sachini Aendra. So Sachini, tell me something about Estara. Why would people want to take Estara rather than any other brand? Actually, that is the only product of that kind in the market. And that's the only product of that kind, I would say, um, in the world of hair products. Because I have traveled to many countries I have tried out almost all hair products that are available and uh, this is a unique product that's a very innovative product. So getting into hair industry is very competitive. Unless you have a very innovative product, it's, it's very hard to compete. For example, you uh, create a shampoo and there are hundreds of thousands of shampoos in the world, yes. also conditioners and also hair growth products. There are gels, there are different different types of, uh, there are tonics, oils, oil combinations, like five different oil compositions together. So there are different products for hair growth. But Estara Hair Miracle is a unique product that is easy to use. Because let's say, I know majority of people don't like oil including me because uh, I, I I dealt with so many customers up until now even though my my brand is very new I've dealt with so many hundreds of people and it's a general thing when we apply oil we have to wash it off we can't go out with it we can't go to sleep with it so people don't like to use oil so why this is a unique product is because it's a cream it absorbs so quickly to your scalp uh, for example, you apply it on your hands and leave it for two minutes and then it's completely absorbed to your hands. So uh, it's absorbed to your scalp and it dries out pretty fast. Because of that, it's an easy to use product. Even if you apply and forget about showering, it's fine. But I don't really advise that uh, to do all the time as a habit. But it happens with our busy lifestyles. It, it's hard to really... Um, follow a strict beauty regime yes. or beauty routine. So we have to do things that are easy, quick. So uh, my product is like massage onto your scalp for five minutes and then you can do whatever for 15 minutes and then just uh, wash it off with your normal shampoo and conditioner. So why um, this is special is be because it's a unique, easy to, uh, easy to use and an innovative product. All right. So, when you launched this product, yeah. like just one month ago, yes. I assume. Yes. yes. So, how did you deal it with the pandemic? Actually speaking, now I developed this product in February last year. Mm -hmm. And then I was waiting for a perfect moment to launch it. And then I was waiting and waiting and the first lockdown happened. So then I thought, okay, I still can use this time to develop my product, improve my product. And then it took months and I developed my product and improved my product, tested my product, perfect. Then I'm waiting to launch. Then when I'm about to launch, another lockdown happens. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I get really upset because I was waiting for the whole year to launch my product and, and the universe is not just giving me that opportunity. And then it was December. We were in November and we were approaching December and the year was over. Mm -hmm. Then I'm thinking, um, the year is over. I haven't done anything and I'm spending more money just to keep my business on hold, to keep my products on hold than launching it and selling it. Because if the business is in operation, it generates some sort of money. But when it's on hold with nothing, like I, I spend more money. 
so i came to a very desperate situation and i was just i didn't know what to do it was my first business i didn't know how to launch in a situation like this we we can't even have a gathering <laughs> and i didn't know what to do i didn't know if i was going to be successful i didn't know whether if i'm going to waste the money i spent and it's going to be a flop nobody's going to buy a hair cream at this point yeah. i was re- my confidence level was really low and i was um, not in a good mind state and then i actually met my friend who's also a business lady actually i can mention her name hasini gunasekara and i went up to her and i said hasini what do i do like the year is over and i i'm having this business and i don't know what to do i don't know how to launch this then she told me sachin let's do a virtual launch right let's do this so she is the one who gave me the idea then i got some hope so we we arranged the best virtual launch we can we invited thousand zoom invitees and then i uh, we uh, planned a live audience through my facebook and um, uh, instagram because i have about a 1 million following and we invited all the media and i we, this was the first product launch in the country this was going to be at that point so we organized this the best way we can and on the 6th of december we went ahead and launched it and um my website actually crashed because there were too many people on it and i couldn't even sell a single product on that day and uh, we had about 20 about 30000 people watched it online through uh, social media and zoom and every uh, platform and from the next day i just couldn't get out get up from my seat like we had a overwhelming response people were ordering and ordering up until today people still order the same way and uh, what i realized is even though there is a pandemic situation going on people kind of uh, used to it right now like they got used to living with it mm-hmm. and uh, especially matters of the heart matters of the heart is matters of how we look our mm-hmm. self esteem confidence if they are affected um, in some way on their confidence or self esteem people just spend money they they just buy you know they they don't think twice about it so most people are mentally emotionally affected by their hair problem so they just um, go ahead and buy these products i mean i myself i don't really worry if there's a pandemic situation i would if if i have to buy let's say my cleanser mm-hmm. i would just go and buy it <laughs> you know so likewise so they they are affected with their hair to an emotional level so they just um, really not worry about the pandemic situation so in astara at the moment you just have one product which is your yes. hair miracle cream do you yes. have any future plans to yes. differentiate from yeah. there i have actually three products in my oh. mind uh, one is for the face one mm-hmm. is for the body one is also for the hair and uh, i my belief is and my policy is that i want to create the best product i can uh for the market because i personally only use the best products in the world i there was a time that i i never even purchased anything from sri lanka because i thought they were not good enough but now i do because there are good products in our country so i don't want to give anything to my customer that i don't use so because my standards are so high when it comes to beauty products i want to create the best so it takes a bit of time to create a good product because you have to test you have to change ingredients you have to test again so it takes a period of time but i i'm in the process of making them all right that's yeah. great uh so when you are differentiating from to skin care products yeah uh what is your opinion on the whitening products now we have in sri lanka well that is something um we can't stop as in um, every person likes to be one or two shades lighter it's a universal thing and it's this uh 
white is beautiful, fairer is better, that mindset didn't just come yesterday or a couple of years back. That came thousands of years ago. There are records of um, uh, people in African continent using whitening products 1,500 years ago, right? So women like to be beautiful. We are born like that. And women like to be fair. And if I can get few shades whiter, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, because it, it's, that's the norm. That's uh, a universal thing. But of course, white people, Caucasians in other countries want to get tan. But if we are brown skinned or if we are darker skinned, we want to get lighter. That's, that's a norm. So it's recently that whitening products are introduced to the market. Maybe uh, five years ago is when the first whitening cr cream was uh, introduced. Uh, if we have time, I can tell you the history about how a whitening product came into the market. <laughs> uh, we have Unfortunately, time. we, we don't, don't have, have yeah. that much of a time. So it was also an accidental experiment came into, um, became a beauty product. Uh, so people love to use it. And I, I don't see anything wrong with it because uh, the whitening um, ingredient we are using is glutathione. Glutathione is actually used to uh, uh, let out all the bad toxins in our bodies. It's actually used for cancer patients to uh, wash out all the toxins from radiation. So glutathione, uh, even if we take uh, 1000, even 5000 milligrams a day into our body, there's no research to say it's harmful. There's no research. So it, it said that whatever we need, we'll take, and the rest, we, the body will uh, wash out. So if a person wants to be fair, I don't, I don't feel uh, it's wrong. If, if you want to change the color of your hair, you can go ahead and do it. So it's fine. It's All definitely right. fine. Yeah. Thank you, Sachini. Thank yeah. you very much for your time. Before we wrap up, do you have any message that you want to give for our viewers? Yeah. Um, I want to say, uh, because I'm, I'm uh, with the hair product now, a lot of women and men um, find uh, they, they have uh, hair issues. So what I want to tell is don't wait till you have a hair problem. Before you have a hair problem uh, is when you have to start treating your hair, taking care of your hair just like your skin and uh, don't wait until your hair falls out to go run and look for a remedy but uh, while you have beautiful hair just take care of it. Okay, thank you Sachini. Welcome. Well that's all the time we have for you with Business Best today. Join us again at, uh, in two weeks time with another edition of Business Best. Thank you and have a good night.